four, three years ago. God, it's been that long. And they host it every year. It's called the Living Dead Convention. And it's one of the coolest conventions because they host it at the mall that they shot Dawn of the Dead at. The actual mall. Si tú me hubieras dicho siempre la verdad, si hubiera respondido cuando te llamé, si no supiste amar, ahora te puedes marchar. Si tú me hubieras dicho siempre la verdad, si no supiste amar, Staying at the Ritz Carlton, the finest hotel, five star hotel. Just kidding. It's the extended stay. That was a long ass trip. My ass is it's like numb. seven hours. A pit stop from hell. Yeah. Seems like a nice place. We'll see. Go. Fingers crossed. All right. Pass the smell test. Not bad. It's quaint. Check the beds. <laughs> <laughs> here at the world famous Permanti Brothers in Monroeville. They have a, a banger sandwich. It comes with fries on it, corned beef. Oh, look at that. It's a thing of beauty right there. Yeah, look at that cross section. All right, well, we'll see. Oh, my God. Thumbs up, Rob. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, here in Monroeville, let's uh, christen this the good old ICB. You got the logo on it? It's not focusing. When you've come to the end of the long, hard trail, the most important thing in the world can be a good cold beer. You know the one, Iron City beer. That tastes like George Romero in a can right there. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. All right, cut it. No way, he does a little serpentine thing here. Oh, look at that. I got it, I got it. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> starting let's go uh, all right I'm up I'm up I'm up we're at the creep show house again it's one of my one of the first horror movies that I ever watched was this movie um, what's your favorite segment it's between the crate and uh, and Father's Day for me always nice can I tell you about this crap this whole movie crap. I 
told you before, I didn't want you to read this crap. I it's not like that. It, it's not that. It's not like, like that. that. No, it wasn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right up in here, in this little parking area. We're here. Coming to get you, Barbara. Alright, we're here at the Living Dead Weekend. We're in the Monroeville Mall. It's amazing. It's cool. My oh, man, Savini, fist bump. No, alright, never mind. <laughs> I didn't want to bring her here because you'd steal her You didn't want to let her anywhere near me. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Alright, I got, got it. it. I got it. Good day. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Pleasure. What's your name? Robert. Robert? Yeah. Say hi to your girlfriend. I will. Alright. All right. Give her a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. There we go. So, my name is Lawrence D. Vincent. I am a George Romero historian, a memorabilia collector, and expert on all things George Romero. Welcome to the Monroeville Mall Tour. I love seeing your faces, especially as the tour goes on, because I see a lot of smiles, especially in certain places that you can't get to without me and without being on a tour. And you will be smiling and loving it. <laughs> I see him getting excited. In that documentary, you see them, they have a big section of boxes and mattresses that would have been lined up against this pole right here. Cameraman Michael Gornick on that mattress getting the shot. And they filmed several shots. And again, this is another stunt that went wrong. First time, time, first time Tom did it, his heel went off the side of the boxes and mattresses and slammed on the ground. And it injured his foot for several weeks and he had to be wheeled around in a wheelchair while he was doing one of the dead effects. You can see behind him a view of a doorway. That would have been this right here. He walks up, pulls the machete out of his boot, and he's like, say goodbye, creep. Say goodbye, creep. right here as he grew machete zombie grabbed onto his leg. That is the same control panel that you see in the movie the Johnson Control Center. They go in there, they look around, they gather some uh, walkie talkies and stuff, and uh, Roger finds something. Roger finds the keys to the kingdom. Keys to the kingdom. Grab the walkie-talkies. A 
gotta come back to this hallway, of course, because I want to see, you know, where they came out of, you know, before they go into the mall. And I look at the screenshots, and I look at the movie carefully. And when they come out of an alcove, you know, from the boiler room, it would be right around here. And in the distance, you can see some of those, like, fuse boxes or telephone sort of boxes and whatnot over there. And they are pretty much this distance. Downtown Pittsburgh. There's apparently some graffiti around here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Good old fluffy. Hell yeah. All right, well that kind of caps off our weekend here. And this is a nice little monument to show our respects to George and all of his, his career and all the people here of Pittsburgh. So we had a blast. Yeah, that's it. All right. <laughs>